racks are a compromise for ease of use and efficiency of space for commercial breeding. They are not and were never designed for the welfare of pet bull pythons. Freedom Breeder put a video on YouTube about the history of their company and they themselves show the original marketing material. Remember you told me you started the whole rodent racks because you, you first had all the laboratory trays all over the ground with water bottles. And, yeah I and couldn't food. go on vacation so I, that's why I came up and started it with a rodent rack and then Tracy Barker I sent her one and then flew me out there and wanted me to design the reptile cages and that's how it all started. Look at all those racks in there. Where was this? Was that in our garage? You will notice it's about space and efficiency and there's no mention of it being designed with bull pythons in mind. In fact, it's just marketing at snakes in general. Well, which species, ecology and natural history was a design trying to cater for? Just snakes in general. It's purely about space and efficiency no matter what species goes in there. So the intent for racks being used commercially is not and was not ever the intent for pet bull pythons to be kept like that. These two things should never be conflated. The science is clear, a deprived rack is detrimental to the long-term welfare of bull pythons. And a properly set up vivarium that allows opportunities to express different behaviours is the gold standard that is and should be encouraged to pet keepers. Any claim that the rack is the gold welfare standard for bull pythons is subject to the same situation I described as part of the rack feedback cycle, and thus comes from a place of misunderstanding or it's intentionally disingenuous. The overwhelming message is stop conflating what's best for the animal with what's best for commercial breeding. It's a compromise on welfare for space and efficiency. Own it.